हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ द साइंस फिजिक्स मेड इजी कोटा हेल्प यू टू लर्न मोर अबाउट द साइंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द वर्क दैट इन अवर डेली लाइफ वी यूज अ वर्ड वर्क मोर फ्रिक्वेंटली अ स्टूडेंट सिटिंग ऑन अ चेयर लर्निंग हिज लेसन यूजली से प्लीज डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी आई एम डूइंग वर्क बट यू विल बी सरप्राइज डैट इन टर्म ऑफ physics the student is not doing any work so we are going to understand about the chapter work power and energy in terms of the signs so in this video lecture we are going to learn these topics please have a look at these topics in our daily life work is said to describe any physical or mental activity for example a person who pushes a car but fail to push it is also supposed to perform work similarly a student is considered to do work by learning his lesson but in science work is said to be done when a force applied on a body displaces the body through a certain distance in the direction of applied force so the expression for the work done is w is equal to f s so you can clearly observe the diagram here in the diagram an object is displaced by the distance x from one position to another position force is applied at a certain angle that is theta is the angle between the force and the displacement you can see that the component of the force which is along the direction of the displacement that is a f cos theta so work done is f s cos theta cos theta means dot product of the vector so work done can be expressed as f vector dot s vector the units si unit is joule for the work done and the cgs unit is arc we can convert the joule into arc that is 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to power 7 arc nature of work done it is of the three types first is a positive work done if the angle between the force and the displacement is acute or less than 90 degree then the work is said to be positive positive work means that external force helps in the motion of the body and it is along the direction of the displacement like for example when a body falls freely under the action of the gravity then the work done by gravity is positive as the angle between the force and the displacement is 0 degree because the displacement and the gravitational force are acting along the same direction so when theta is equal to 0 So the work means it is a positive work done. For the negative work done, if the angle is obtuse, then the work is said to be negative. It signifies that the direction of the force is such that it opposes the motion of the body. For example, the frictional force. It is the opposing force and it opposes the motion. So the work done in this case is negative. And the frictional force and the applied force are acting on different directions. at a same point so the angle theta is 180 degree when the theta is 180 degree then the force does maximum negative work for the zero work done that is for the example of the circular motion the work done by centripetal force is zero or another example when a pulley travels on a horizontal platform with the load on his head then the work done against gravity by the pulley is zero so it means that when the angle between the force and the displacement is 90 degree then the work is said to be zero it means that there is no displacement or no force acting on the body then work is also said to be zero work done so this chart shows the example so for the positive work done the force and the displacement is in the same direction for a negative work done force and displacement acting in the opposite direction and for the zero work either force is at zero or the displacement is zero suppose there is a variable force acting on an object and which led to the displacement of the object so the work done by the variable force is given by the expression dw is equal to f vector dot ds vector why we take here the ds vector because we are taking for the very small displacement when a variable force is acting on the object to find out the total displacement like the object is displaced from the 
point A to B under the variable force, then the total work done can be find out by taking the integral from A to B. We can also write the expression of the work done in terms of the rectangular components. Resolve the force into its rectangular component. Similarly, the displacement into the rectangular component. Then we can find the work done for the variable force by taking the integral and the final answer we get the integral in the different axes like wab first of all we write what is amount of work done is in the x axis then what is amount of work done along the y direction and what is the amount of work done along the z direction we must remember that there is no term like the instantaneous work work is defined for an interval or displacement for a particular displacement, work is independent of the time and the effect of work is change in the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the object. For the case of the numericals, we can also calculate the work from the force displacement graph. So here is a force displacement graph and uh, the force is a variable force. So we take the graph and uh, the graph varies from the point x1 to the x2. Then we consider the small strip to calculate firstly the small amount of the work done then we can find the integral to calculate the complete work done from the interval x1 to x2 so the work done from the small displacement dw is equal to f into dx and f into dx also represent the area of the strip which having the length dx and to calculate the total work done within the interval x1 to x2 we take the integral up from the x1 to x2 as the limits and and f dx is the area so we can find the area under the curve and the area under the curve x1 and x2 give us the work done there are the two types of the forces one is a conservative force another one is a non conservative force conservative forces are those if the work done by the force on a particle moving between two points does not depend upon the path taken by the particle it just depend upon the final position and the initial position for example gravitational force gravitational force only depend upon the positions it never depend upon the path as the path can be changed with the other factors because of the air resistance but at last the object is fall under the effect of the gravity and the non conservative force if a work done by a force in moving a body from one position to the another depend upon the path for example friction force friction force all always depend upon the path and the nature of the path energy always deal with the work if there is energy there is a work or vice versa we can't talk about the one topic and ignore the another topic both are uh, similar in their meaning so energy is actually the capacity for doing work if we have a energy then we are able to do work and the work can be performed only because of the energy work is a scalar quantity so energy is also a scalar quantity is si unit is similar as the work that is a joule and there are some other units which help at a commercial level and also for the numerical purposes for the conversion of the units from one form to the another please have a look at all these units energy has a very important relationship with the mass that is called as a mass energy relation given by the einstein called as the einstein mass energy equivalence principle which state that mass and energy are interconvertible that is they can be changed into each other so the expression is e is equal to mc square here c is the speed of light there are the various form of energy mechanical energy means when there is some work is going on either as a stored form or when the object is moving so that is it is of the two types or it is a sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy second form chemical energy magnetic energy electrical energy nuclear energy then we have the sound energy light energy heat energy all these are the various form of energy when most important thing energy can be converted from one form to another for through various devices there is never neither the new creation or the destruction of the energy energy simply convert one form to the another thing.